Hi, I'm Cliff Ruddle, and I'm very enthusiastic to speak to you today about the Gold Glider. For me, the Gold Glider is a pre-shaping file that is safe and efficient, and it cuts a smooth-flowing, fully tapered pathway to length. The good news is the Gold Glider both complements and completes the Wave 1 Gold file shaping system. Let's get started. Let's look at some advancements in canal preparation. Before we initiate endodontic treatment, it's always useful to have a mechanical strategy. After cutting a careful access cavity, I typically use a size 10 file and a viscous chelator to work the file gently to length. Once the instrument has achieved length, we can establish working length. It's important not to remove the file, rather to move the file in short strokes in and out until the file is loose to confirm patency. Once we have a working length and a patent canal, we pull the file back a stop, then two stops and three stops, and determine if we can slip, slide, and glide over the apical one-third of that canal. If we've accomplished that, we have a smooth, reproducible glide path for a mechanical file to follow. Here's the Gold Glider. There's some very exciting design features that I'd like to share with you. Notice the six progressively increasing percentage tapers over the active portion. Notice that the color of the instrument is gold. That's a post-machining heat treatment technology that provides improved flexibility and the resistance to cyclic fatigue. With its parallelogram cross-section, there's more chip space to haul debris out of the canal. So, traditionally we've used the 10 and the 15 hand file for glide path management, but notice how the Gold Glider compares with the 15 hand file at D8, D12, and D16. This serves to give us a pre-enlarged canal. So I propose eliminating the stiff stainless steel 15 hand file and glide path management can be converted to a two file sequence. The good news is, the motor that you already have for Wave 1 Gold is feature specific and will drive Wave 1 Gold shaping files and the Gold Glider. We're going to be making a 150 degree counterclockwise rotation and then a 30 degree clockwise rotation. This unequal bidirectional movement is a very, very safe and efficient movement to carry files to length. Once we have a secured canal, we can use the Gold Glider to pre-shape the canal. Let it run in passively, let it go towards length, let it run a little bit. If it bogs down, lift it up a couple millimeters to let the debris more effectively auger up the active portion of the file. Once we've achieved length, we have a really smooth, reproducible glide path that's a conducive for shaping instruments to follow. In this system, we use the Wave 1 Gold Primary 2507. Let it run into the canal Oftentimes we'll use a multi-pass technique and typically the third pass will optimally shape the apical one-third. Notice how this file is loading up with debris. This can be visually identified as you remove the file from the tooth. Well-shaped canals hold a sufficient reservoir of reagent that can be agitated. Typically we use the endoactivator a soft polymer tip that's non-cutting to vibrate and exchange reagent into the uninstrumentable portion of the root canal system. Clean root canal systems are easy to fill and can be done readily with a vertical warm gutta percha technique using a system-based primary gutta percha master cone or a gutta core obturator. Okay, let me summarize. Gold Glider and Wave 1 Gold promote root appropriate canal shapes that are conducive to three-dimensional disinfection and filling root canal systems. I'd like to invite you to use Wave 1 Gold system-based master cones and gutta core obturators to seal the deal. Endodontics just got better, easier, and faster.